Hey Wildcats, welcome back to this week's episode of Wildcat TV on Comcast 15. We're your anchors, Cameron Blackwell and Grayson Austin. Hello, I'm Sierra Corrin and you are tuning in to the Body 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 Body. forward to spring break. Me too, but there are many other important dates coming up too. Emily has more. Hey Wildcats, I think it's time for some important dates. In the month of February, on the 8th, there's an ACT prep day. On the 11th, there's an ACT test from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. On the 11th, there's WGI. On the 13th, there's no school. On the 19th, music programs perform. On the 20th, there's no school. In the month of March, on the 7th, there's accent on academics. The 13th through the 17th, there's spring break. On the 29th, there's an ACT prep day. In the month of April, on the 1st, there's an ACT test from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. On the 7th, there's no school. On the 10th, there's no school. In the month of May, on the 3rd, there's an NHS induction ceremony at 5.30 p.m. Also on that day, there's Senior Academic Awards Night at 7 p.m. The 6th is prom from 8 to 11 p.m. The 17th is the senior's last day. The 24th, the last day of school. Also, graduation at 7 p.m. There's only 69 days left for seniors and only 74 days for the rest of us. Let's finish this year off great. Signing off, it's Emily Capeton. Now back to you in the studio. Thanks, Emily. Man, I can't believe we're gonna be seniors next year. I know, it's so weird. It's also weird that the seniors are gonna be graduating and going off to college. Seniors, Trey has information for you about college and career readiness. Hi Wildcats, it's Trey Dale. Attention seniors, as you're thinking about your future, I want to let you know some opportunities and scholarships. So let's get right into it. Your FAFSA is due February 1st, remember that, so make sure you fill it out and turn it in. Next, mark your calendars for the Infinite Scholars Program for the College and Scholarship Fair. Mark your calendars for Saturday, February 25th. This is a great opportunity if you want to go see other colleges or see what scholarships are available. There are dual credit opportunities through the state of Missouri. And if you're interested in that, make sure to check the counseling newsletter for more information. Also, if you're interested in another college fair, mark your calendars for March 30th at 6.30 p.m. for the Spring College Fair. It's another opportunity for scholarships and college visitations. Healthcare workers, are you interested in some scholarships? Check out the UMKC Star Scholarship Program. If you want more information on that, make sure you check the counseling newsletter for more information. If you're unsure about what college careers you're taking or any of the opportunities like that, do not worry. Make sure you go to the Blue Springs website and go to the Students Resource tab and check for the college and careers information. And list there, there's a bunch of opportunities and internships. If you're still unsure on what to do, if you have any other questions, make sure to go up to your counseling office and ask your counselor for more information. Good luck to your future. I'm Trey Dale, back to you in the studio. Thanks, Trey. Speaking of seniors going off to college, Lauren has more on college prep essentials. Hey, Wildcats. I'm Lauren Jones, and today I'm going to be showing you seniors some college essentials. So, let's start with laptops. On average, laptops can cost about $800 to $2,000. So I tried finding some good quality and affordable options for you guys.
You seniors are also going to need some things for your dorms, since most colleges require that you live on campus for your first year. First, an extension cord. On Amazon, it costs about $8.99, maybe a little bit more for an extension cord. You'll need this to maximize your outlets and have plenty of space to charge all of your devices. Next, you'll need a mattress topper and sheets. A mattress topper can cost about $40 to $100, and good quality sheets are about $15 to $50. Bucks. Most dorms have a twin XL size mattress, so make sure you get the right size. You'll also need a laundry basket. A laundry basket will cost about $13 to $30. I recommend one with wheels. Next, hanger storage and shoe storage. These will allow you to stack your clothes and maximize your closet space. And lastly, a mini fridge. A mini fridge will cost about $50 to $200. Well, that's all I have for you today, Wildcats. And back to you in the studio. Thanks, Lauren. I think it's time for a commercial break. After the break, we will have more on the musical, fashion, art, and poetry. Let Big Frog outfit your clubs and teams and help your fundraisers and more by creating your very own online store with professional help from Big Frog. First, select the gear, artwork, and options for your store. Second, Big Frog builds your online store to match your branding. Third, promote your new online store to your team, parents, and fans by sharing a link. Your store is open 24-7. And, best of all, you are never stuck with leftover inventory. Products are made as orders are received. Get started today. Contact Big Frog and Independence at 816-795-1115. Hey students, this is Brandon Jackley with Chick-fil-A in Blue Springs. We are looking for great talent, so why don't you come join us? Some of the great things about working at Chick-fil-A Blue Springs is that we promote from within our own team. We have flexible hours where you can create your own schedule. We have competitive pay where full-time team members start at 15 an hour. We also offer college scholarships. Last year, we had 11 students receive a college scholarship from Chick-fil-A Blue Springs. So come join the Chick-fil-A Blue Springs family by texting my pleasure to 816-494-2208 to apply today. Hi, my name is Hanya and uh, I have been coming here to Dahlquist Dental probably over 25, probably about 27 years. It's really, really friendly. I love coming here. My kids still come here. My husband comes here. It's a family-run organization, and you, you really feel like family. So it's a good place to come. I highly recommend it. Wildcats. Hey Cam, have you heard about the musical coming up? Yeah, Ava has more. Blue Springs High School's production of Freaky Friday the Musical is in full swing. I spoke with some cast and crew members to see what we can look forward to. The cast is working really hard. I think we've gotten a lot done, especially in like such a short time. I think that we're moving really fast and I think it looks really good right now. As the rehearsals are going on, everything is just really clicking with everybody and it's really like coming together as like this really, really fun show. Um, the music is getting learned at like an alarming rate and it's so nice to listen to. Like there's a few songs that like give me goosebumps every time I listen to them. The crew has been working hard creating the set for Freaky Friday. Stage manager Jordan Blackburn showed me the main set piece they built. So this is the set for the musical. Um, our main set piece here is the turntable, um, the biggest unit set that I've ever worked on. The three parts of it are the kitchen over here, the school. Right now we have cinder block. Throughout the scenes that take place in the school, we're, we'll add um, different decorations to make it feel more like a classroom or the hallway. Next we have the um, kind of backyard area. Part of why we chose to do a turntable is because there are so many like really quick scene changes um, in this show. And so this gives us the ability to be able to do that a little bit smoother. Students in the pit orchestra have been learning the music for the show. They will be joining the cast this week for rehearsals.
Disney's Freaky Friday is an adaptation of the beloved novel, the 1976 and 2003 movies of the same name. It's the story of teenager Ellie Blake and her mom Catherine who magically swap bodies. With just one day until Catherine's wedding, they must live as each other until they can reverse it. The performances of Freaky Friday will be February 9th, 10th, and 11th at 7 p.m. in the PAC. There is reserved seating, so save your spot by buying tickets for $10 at bshs.seatyourself.biz. Tickets will also be available in the box office prior to performances, but will be cash only. This production is going to be amazing. You don't want to miss it. Make sure to support your fellow Wildcats this February. This has been Ava McClure for Wildcat TV. Now we have more on the artistic expression of the mind contest with Avery. Hey Wildcats, it's Avery. Has your English teacher talked about the poetry contest this year? If not, I'm here to tell you more. Let's get started. What type of poem may I submit? Enter any type of original poetry. Quick tip, judges tend to look for imagery, figurative language, originality, and meaningful topics in the selections for finalists. How do I submit my poem? Scan this QR code, print your poem with the poem title centered in the top and type your grade level dash student ID number in the very top right corner and give it to your ELA teacher. Do not put your school or your name on your paper. Can I submit several poems? Yes, you may submit no more than two poems. What do I get if I win? If you are a senior, then you will receive a book scholarship for college. Or, if you are not a senior, you will receive a book award worth $100. Teachers of the grand prize winners will also receive a book donation of $50 for their classroom. If you submit a poem and do not win, there's no consequence. But if you do win, you earn money. Consider that when you're thinking about entering a poem. I'm Avery Gamel, back to you in the studio. Now for another commercial break. Hi, I'm Isaiah Bragg with Country Financial. My wife and I and our family live in Blue Springs. In fact, my wife is a teacher in the school district. When it comes to covering your needs for auto, home, business, and life insurance, we can help you out through Country Financial. We offer auto discounts for teachers, students with good grades, police officers, firefighters, and EMTs. We have very competitive rates, and it's worth a phone call to find out how much you can save. Call us at 816-795 6340 or come by our office just off AA Highway in Grain Valley. Hey guys, Nate Mitchell here at Culver's. You already know we got the best burgers in town, but I want to tell you about an awesome new dessert menu item we've got. Come on, let's check it out. You can now get any of our concrete mixers, shakes, and malts blended together with our signature Culver's root beer. For example, this is our root beer shake made with our fresh frozen custard. Come by and try one for yourself. We can't wait to see you. Blue Springs, South 7 Highway or Independence right off I-70. Honey, did you change the outside light like I asked? It's about time. What? Did you call Moxie Pest Control first to get rid of those wasps? Uh, no. You'll regret it. I told you so. I should have called Moxie Pest Control. Don't let pests knock you down. Make pests a thing of the past at killbugsfast.com. I'm a librarian and I scout. I'm a teacher and I scout. I am the preschool teacher and I scout. I'm a custodian and I scout. I'm a nurse and I scout. I'm a secretary and I scout. I'm a construction worker and I scout. I'm a student and I scout. I am the director and I scout. Open weekdays 6 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturday 7 to 5, Sunday 7 to 2. Welcome back, Wildcats. Grayson, come on. Wow, Cam, you've got that W, Riz. Huh? Amaya has more on slang. Nowadays, we kids say so many different things like... Cap. Mid. Fire. Low-key. Motion. Bustle. What's the word? 
that we don't notice that it has become a part of our everyday conversations. So we decided to see how much of our Blue Springs High School staff pay attention to the things we say. We quizzed a few of them on our everyday lingo. Mid. Mid. Mid means middle. Like when you were at Moreland Ridge, you were in the mid school. <laughs> mid. Mid. Okay, you go to school Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Mid means middle of the week. That's what it means. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I think that it means like halfway between two locations in the middle. So I was. Mm, mm, nope, that's not going to make sense. It was in the mid of the night. <laughs> Mid. I've got this because it was used in my classroom two weeks ago. 1984 is mid. So it means like middle of the road. Like it's okay. Not great, but not terrible. So the next word is mid. Um, and it's obviously like halfway between, like a middle, right? Um, so a sentence would be, um, hey, you need to fix your hat. It's not in the mid. Riz. I think Riz means, oh, when you go on vacation. That's what it is. Like when you, if you say, this weekend, what are you doing? Well, I'm, I'm going to Riz. I'm going to, on vacation, right? Okay, I think it means to like give somebody like a hard time or like call them out. So I need to use it in a sentence. Okay, so I'm going to Riz on Amaya. I think Riz means your game, um, such as, I'm thinking fourth era calculus, Luke, you have no Riz. <laughs> um, cap means not lying, like this school is the best, no cap. Did I get it? Okay. <laughs> I think cap deals with your lying. So again, I would say, Luke, no Riz, no cap. So the word is dub, and I, I think dub um, is the part of a car um, that goes on the hubcap. So you need to change your dub. Okay, dub. Well, back in like the 80s, 1980s, dub meant to like copy a tape, like an actual like cassette tape. So to copy, like, can you dub that tape for me? As you can see, some of our staff might need a little bit of tutoring, but that's okay. Come back next week because it's a student's turn. This has been Amaya Krigler. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Amaya. Did you know our basketball team is holding a hygiene drive? Thank you, Lynn. Have more. Wildcats, Keelan Johnson here. Blue Springs High School does a lot to help out our community, and recently, our boys' basketball has demonstrated that. Hi, I'm Coach Adam Jones with Blue Springs High School Wildcats. Uh, we're doing a hygiene drive this month. Uh, month of January, any kid or student that comes to the gate and donates any three uh, travel shampoo, travel soap, travel toothpaste, travel toothbrushes will get in the game free. We've only got one home game left in January, that's Friday night, against a really good Oak Park team. Uh, we're doing this hygiene drive to donate to local elementary schools for some of the kids that don't have things like that. Uh, I personally have a nine-year-old at home that needs needs lots of deodorant. So uh, anything you guys can bring and donate to our cause would be a great benefit to our team and our service project that we're doing. As well as talking to Coach Jones, I had the opportunity to talk with a few varsity players about how they felt about the drive. I'm Lincoln Stevenson, and to me, the drive, I feel like is it's good because you know we're doing something we love and playing basketball, and we're helping people that need it. Uh, hello, my name is Isaiah Hooks. Uh, I play varsity for Blue Springs Wildcats, and I feel like this drive can help out a lot of people with uh, all the education, health, health and hygiene for uh, all we need. And uh, I think it's very important that we're doing this, especially like 
the more we like do this, I feel like people can get back on their feet and uh, get back to what they're used to doing. Hi, I'm Josh Allen. Uh, I'm a senior here at high school. I play basketball for uh, the Wildcats, and I think I'm really just excited that we are helping others for our hygiene uh, drive. I think it means a lot to our community that we can just kind of get out there and help other people that are in need. And I think it kind of goes underappreciated how, like, how helpful other people can be, including students. So I think if any of y'all are coming to the game, it'd be real uh, helpful for y'all to help out and just support your community. I'm Zane. I'm a senior on the basketball team. And I'm just really like grateful that we're able to help out the community, you know, and just like make sure that people can like get stuff to for like their hygiene kits and just really helping out our community and handing out stuff. Thank you to all that donated. I'm Keelan Johnson. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, guys. Hey, basketball's a sport. Good point. On to sports. This is a Wildcat Sports Update. Hey Wildcats, back with the Sports Update, and today we're doing something a little special. I am going to attempt to set the world record for the fastest Wildcat TV sports segment of all time. I got my notes right here, you're going to see a clock on the screen, and we're going to get started. And here we go. Girls Swim and Dive finished regular season with victories against St. Joe Central and Savannah. Standout performances from Maddie Johnson and Molly McDonald. Morgan Jones medaled at Coma Invitational in the conference championship. It's February 3rd. Moving on to boys basketball. Beat South 60-43 Friday. Josh Allen had 21 points during that game. Dog. Also beat Ray Peck on Tuesday 52-43 on the road. Barrett Jones recording 12 points his season high. Dog. Girls basketball. Kaylee Jenkins and Jayla Cornelius won all tournament honors at the Raider Basketball Classic. Won against Nevada 55-44 to win the tournament. Led by senior Nicole Schnell. All dogs. Wrestling. Wednesday against Park Hill. They won. Unfortunately, the girls lost. Next week, they face Belton on Tuesday, Park Hill on Wednesday, Panther Classic on Saturday. Girls have Gold Division Duel on Thursday, and that is time. You guys see the time on the screen? Hopefully, I can beat that next time. Signing off, T Stew. This has been a Wildcat Sports Update. One more announcement. If you are a senior with a 3.5 or above cumulative GPA, and are currently not in National Honor Society, but would like to be, stop by the library this week for information. And if you're a junior with a 3.5 or above cumulative GPA, you'll receive an email invitation to join NHS by this Friday. Make sure you check your inbox. Well, that's all we have for this episode. Thanks for watching. Remember to follow our social medias, and always remember, it's, it's a, a great day, day to be a Wildcat! Fire! Woo! Oh, that's it, no one had to see. Yeah. <laughs> that was so cool. <laughs>